In a darkened and temperature-controlled room at Birmingham University, two leaves of ancient manuscript have sparked global interest. Fragments from what's believed to be among one of the oldest Qurans will go on display to the public on the 2nd of October. The two-leaf, four-page manuscript, written in ink on animal skin, was only recently discovered to be much older than originally thought. Carbon dating reveals it to be from between 568 and 645 AD, and not the previously thought 8th century. British Muslims, scholars, students and even Muslims from as far away as Malaysia are snapping up tickets to see for themselves the manuscript, which could have been written in the time of Prophet Muhammad, who is thought to have lived between 570 and 632 AD. Oh, there has been phenomenal interest actually globally. I mean, it's been it's been amazing, and we we you know obviously it is the Quran. It's it's very significant. We knew there would be interest, but we were bowled over by how much interest there was. The manuscript has been in the university's vault since the 1930s, but it wasn't until PhD student Alba Fideli pushed to carbon date the text that it was discovered it was much older than originally thought. The results for me uh, as a scholar is seventh century. That means uh, one of the uh, earliest uh, witnesses we have uh, from the beginning of Islam. Islamic scholars are wondering if the writer of this text even knew Muhammad, but Fideli warns that it's impossible to say. Fideli said all they can say for sure about the scribe is that its writer was a master. I think if you ever look at the two leaves, uh, they are very well written in the sense that the script is well proportioned, uh, uh, the lines are equal distant one from the other one. Uh, um, I can say a lot about uh, what he did about his work, but I have no evidence for saying something about uh, his life or his uh, uh, connections, his uh, geographical location. The carbon dating placing the fragments between 568 and 645 AD puts it in the range a few years before and after the lifetime of Muhammad. And that's ignited much scholarly debate within the Muslim community about the origins of the Quran, depending whether you take the earlier or later date with that range. Fideli warns though it would be a massive mistake to pinpoint the date within that range, as scientifically it's impossible to know. Of course the, the dating has uh, important uh, implications because if you say that the manuscript is from uh, the beginning of Islam, uh, it means that it is confirming the authenticity of uh, the Quranic text. If someone else is uh, using the results uh, in another way, taking, uh, uh, choosing uh, the first period, the 568, uh, you can, uh, uh, you can deny the authenticity of, of the Quran text, so you can imagine the, the implications and the consequences. But uh, I don't agree with this uh, misuse of, uh, of the results for uh, uh, saying something else. It's been suggested the fragments match 16 pages held in Paris at the Bibliothèque Nationale de France and that they form part of the same original manuscript.